All right, this is the uh, last topic of the multimedia subject. So it is obviously on, as every last topic is with any, any chapter that we study for IPT, it is on the issues that uh, come about um, with multimedia systems. And of course, the most first and most obvious uh, is, of course, that little heading over there. But the heading is 7.5 issues related to multimedia systems. Um, so these are the social and ethical issues related to multimedia systems. So the first topic, of course, is copyright. And um, what the textbook tends to talk about is um, more in a theoretical sense uh, what you need to do so that you do not breach copyright. Um, and of course, um, having been 20 years old, uh, it talks about, you know, um, you could go on the internet and copy and paste information that has been done. Now, uh, we solve that through all my own work, or we don't solve it, but we educate you on that through all my own work. Um, but there's also some other things, uh, such as downloading software, of course, uh, or downloading movies in, partic in particular, or even music. Um, I read a statistic just recently that 99% uh, of any um, video or any um, mu uh, music that is downloaded from the internet, 99% of it is uh, is not paid for. Um, that's also changing nowadays, especially with um, the introduction of sites where you can access it, uh, movies and good movies and high quality movies for a price, a monthly subscription, such as Netflix, Stan, um, Disney Plus, and also with music as well. So Spotify, of course, um, you know, you can pay a subscription to that. And that makes sure that some of the money, I'm, I'm, I'm not stating how much money or whether all of the money uh, that you pay goes back to the artist that actually produces the music. But um, certainly has solved a few issues. Uh, and there are a number of documentaries out there to talk about, um, you know, the um, uh, the breach of copyrights and how it has evolved over time. Um, I've also got a little video here that is YouTube's um, me message to people about um, copyright, um, and it educates people about it. It's sometimes it actually raises a lot more questions than what it's worth, but. Um, it's just um, opening your eyes to the theory behind copyright. So go ahead and watch this video. Of course, um, its link will be on OneNote and also in the description below this video as well. And then, of course, the next one is a very you know similar one, a little bit of a 15-minute documentary about um, the past and copyright and um, how things have evolved over time. Okay, so and the other textbook part of um, the social and ethical issues is the appropriate use of the internet. Uh, schools are very good at educating students about the appropriate use of the internet. Uh, I think that's really imp the really important thing is to not um, stop students from using the internet, but also just educate them on the appropriate use. And sometimes we get that really correct. Uh, and, and it's because we are making sure that we educate you on the appropriate use of the internet. That's not saying that we don't see in schools um, the, the evil side of human nature, uh, using it for evil, um, but we also see a lot of positives of it, especially uh, during this time. Uh, you know, we're just coming out of a lockdown uh, through the COVID crisis that we've had in 2020. And if you're watching this in the, in his, in, uh, in the future, um, because you're studying this subject uh, in, you know, not my year 12s in 2020, uh, you would understand, uh, you would look back and go, oh, I remember those days when, you know, we couldn't even go to school and, and how good was that? Well, surprisingly, the novelty wore off very quickly and um, which leads me into how appropriately we all use the internet um, to get through, uh, you know, basically staying at home for two months and not being able to go outside. Um, there is a website, of course, in every um, country that covers or that provides um, sort of some e-smart tools. There is actually a, um, I was once an e-smart coordinator and um, implementing 
how to be e-smart, but this is um, cyber safety in relation to helping students to um, be safe online. And then of course, um, there is uh, the next part of this, which is the um, emerging technology of multimedia. Um, it's very difficult to teach emerging technology in multimedia because things change so quickly. I guess the, the culture of this is the speeds at which things happen um, and also how good multimedia has become in, in presenting itself in different formats. So what I mean by that is that, um, you know, people who produce film and animation uh, do their utmost to make sure that it looks real and uh, you need high-powered high computing pro uh, processing power to be able to do that. So I have uh, on the internet this wonderful video which is produced by um, um, uh, Disney Films or even just um, uh, Lucas Films uh, and it's a documentary on how um, they make one minute of the footage of uh, episode three. Uh, in particular, have a look at um, the an animation and the hard work that goes into producing the sound, um, producing the lifelike footage, uh, what models they use, how they get the lava to flow and what they have to do with that. Um, if you, I'm gonna open this up. If you spot the mistake that I spotted in this film, uh, write a comment in the, um, you know, in the comment section on this video uh, that you're watching right now to see if you're correct. correct. There is a mistake and in fact, I emailed George Lucas on my uh, private account, um, my private email account. Um, I never got a response. I don't expect a response, but um, I just wanted to point out to him that I noticed there was a mistake and it actually went to film. And it's only about two, maybe three frames in the film, but you can definitely spot a mistake in the movie. Um, so watch the, I think it's about 57 seconds or something, or not even 50 seconds, um, but you have a look at the footage and you will be able to spot a mistake. So that's my challenge to you to see if you can write a comment and say, I spotted this, Mr. Blackwell, and I'll respond, I promise you, I will respond to see whether or not you were right. There's no prizes for getting it right, but um, if, this, if you're watching this video in many, many years to come, uh, you might want to scroll down and see what it is. Um, the other point I want to make is that it's very difficult to display emerging technology um, or teach emerging technology when there's nothing really out there that I can find that is emerging technology because it's coming out. Um, so in the IPT subject, quite often they do have emerging technology questions uh, that you may never have experienced before. Um, I, for example, the... Um, uh, 2018 question 24 about the um, NRMA's fire blanket, you know, that was a bit of emerging technology that's coming out. And um, obviously maybe with the COVID crisis, they might be, this HSC in 2020, they might be talking about uh, the um, how do we solve, um, you know, or how do we communicate better when a virus like this breaks out because it was, you know, when looking back, the governments were very slow to react, but then when they did react, they react reacted with a lot of power. So um, that's a real interesting thing. So go ahead and watch the documentary. I, I thoroughly recommend it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. There are some um, moments where you might want to fast forward it, but if you could just find some time to watch it, um, it's definitely worth it. So the link will be in the description below and see if you can spot the mistake. I hope you enjoyed this.